Chapman is in sick shape, but to be the same weight as a man and be stockier, you must be shorter. That's how, that's that's how, how it that works, works yeah. right? So he knows how to deal with a man with reach. Chapman is a very skilled guy, but we haven't seen him fight for a while. He may start too fast or too slow because of that. Well, Clive Allison, the referee, gets them both together. Something we talked about a little bit tonight. Would the state that you're in, the state of preparation that you're in, you either you either you know regulate up or regulate yeah, down correct. to get yourself where you need to be. One. But man, is that kid big? First round. He's very muscular as well, uh, Dan Chapman. And I think he fought when he did fight BKB6, wasn't he a lot lighter? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Canelli there. Oh, trying the Jimmy Sweeney with a hand out, as you say, just to take that focus away. Then he tries that little left clip. Just a tight overhand left from Chapman. And he leads with that jab. And then he tries to point away. That little cobra type of thing. Jimmy Sweeney started it. He's the master at it. Looking down as well, looking away, moving his head, moving his gaze. It's smart, but it's hard to trick somebody that's experienced. You have to get it right. Or you could get sucked. That's right. That's right. Canelli, though, looks supremely confident. He's on the front foot. Yep. I do like the thinking from Chapman, but I don't like as he looks away. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh. Again, a great body shot. A little bit of blood and swelling around the left eye of uh, Chapman. Chapman, yep. Oh, oh, good shot again, both. Now it's developing into a fight. He's standing in tight. Connolly's now it's great to play. It's great. But when you square up, that's when you're in trouble. Oh, good shot again from Chapman. Hey, great hey, comeback. A left hook on the exit by Connolly. MMA fans know Anderson still. caught him again there and he's. Chapman there, a little uncomfortable, I think, but he smiles at Canelli. Anderson Silva was a playful guy, but when he squared up against Chris Weidman, he was knocked unconscious. He's squaring up now. You cannot square your feet when you're going to play these no. games. You must blade that Absolutely. Leg. If you square on, you're asking for trouble. But I like the way Canelli's playing. Yeah. Tries a little slap there, and that jab. He's kept a bit of distance and jabbed. Tough one to call that. I think Canelli maybe just might have had that. I'm so interested as you see these little different ways to play the game of bare knuckle boxing, the way to fight bare yeah. knuckle boxing. These guys are, are coming in and test driving these different approaches. It's fascinating. But I, I think that they're that, trying to get that hand up like Jimmy Sweeney to take the focus away. Jim? Um, yeah, two two to Canelli, one for Chapman on the rounds. That's pretty um, much what we Yeah, thought. I think it, I think that's really close. There's a little cut just of, um, yeah. over, over Dan's eye there, so that, that'd be interesting. You notice Canelli trying to Jimmy Sweeney with the hand out, trying to take yeah, the attention yeah, we'll away. Yeah, take the attention away yeah. right, and then come with a yeah. little left. Um, the finish as well, he has got so many advantages, but the big worry is when he lets him in close with his hands yes. high, yeah. his yeah. torso's yeah. all over. Yeah, him. absolutely. So, yeah. And his feet are squared up sometimes yeah. when he's yeah. playing those games. Um, so it's a risky game. Very risky, very risky. But, you know, these are two elite boxers in BKB. Yes. Thanks very much, Jim. One. And in good nick. It is our round two. So that, if for our viewers, you see a, a, a little bit of something around the eye that is Vaseline to fill that cut. Yep. The referee should check there's not too much. Because if it, mind you, it doesn't matter here, it's knuckles, isn't it? So, Canelli there, looking focused, keeps his hands. Very awkward looking stance, if I'm honest. But awkward is hard. And Chapman's sort of trying to work it out. Canelli. He's throwing wild shots that are not connecting, but that was better. Throws that wild right and ducks. He ducked into one there from Canelli. Dan is needing to commit now, so he is, but he's putting himself into work. He threw that elbow. I don't think it, he knew it wouldn't land, but it can get into the mind of your opponent. But when you go chasing a fight, you're more susceptible anyway. Yeah, and you're tight. You're tight in the neck, and you're tight in the jaw, and you're moving forward. If you get hit, it can be really tough. Chapman felt he would be the slicker boxer. That isn't necessarily... That hasn't shown yet. Yeah. We haven't seen it that yet. You can see his skill. There's no doubt about that. And he, he's, 
He's trying to use his lack of height yep. to even more advantage by ducking. See? There, oh, yeah, but he's coming up. If you, they call it closing the door or slamming the door shut when you when you throw that left hook on the exit, and you see it's been working for a lot of people here tonight. It, it makes a lot of sense in this game where people are standing in line a little longer to close the left hook, close the door with that left hook. Good there, trying to work the body. Chapman then comes upstairs. Chapman is, is starting to... Oh, yeah. caught him. I, I was just going to say, he's starting to figure out the range and the timing. Uh, he's deciphering the code a little bit. He tagged him a treat there. So this now becomes a 10-8 round unless James Canelli can do something. I think that's the first time he's really tagged him. Yeah, and, and he did. And, and that changes the complexion here a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. There's a certain truth that once something's been achieved, you know it can be achieved. You know, now he yeah. knows he can get to him. Now he knows he can, it can hurt him as well. Yeah. End of the... And Canelli, I, round. I read his 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 lips, and and he swore a little bit walking back. He's mad at himself that he got. I think caught. he's angry with himself, yeah. as you say, angry with himself. But that's uh, that has put Dan Chapman, which well, turned it into a one-round fight. Yeah. Well, we'll see what uh, the judges have to say when Jim arrives. There he, there he is. is. That makes it 10-8, doesn't it? Um, yeah. yeah. So he's got to go for it. It's I'm a one-round go fight it. now. Yeah, exactly. He's got to go for it. So I'm going to tell him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We need he he, he needs to know. You know, he needs to know this. You're gonna tell him. Yeah, let's tell him. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's an interesting one because the game, well, Chapman's game, and his responsibility to win this fight is to decipher Connell Canelli, is to decipher him, decode him, work you know, it out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just work your way through it, and yeah. and but all it takes to find that range and know it's there is one big one, and and he's landed that one now. Come on, well, let's see what Canelli's nice got, let's see what Chapman's got in the Come final on. round. It's a one-round fight now. Now, if, if, final Chapman, round. if Canelli wins this round, it, it would be a draw, and then we would see a fourth round. Yeah, of course, with the 10-8. Yep. Yeah, then the we got an extra round. Yep. Yep. I asked Chapman about, about this fight, and he said he's here to be a world champion. That's why he's in the... Oh, oh, good shot from Chapman. Oh, oh he's down again. Well, now Canelli, Canelli needs an Oh, no, he's taking account. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a real shot. It was, a, it was, was. a clean shot. And uh, <laughs> he needs a knockout now because just coming back in this round, he will lose this fight. Chapman said he's here to be a world champion. That means beat this man, beat two more men at, at 16 and 17, and then, and then go beat with Jimmy, Jimmy Sweeney. Sweeney. Well, Canelli now has got to do something. And Chapman is on the ascendancy. The game of, of moving and distracting and and try, the, playing with duplicity, which was what Canelli was doing, that slows as you slow. Yeah. Its effectiveness slows. You slow. Oh, he's hitting from. I tell you, he's hitting on the back of the head from the, from the back. Then he was. You slow slightly, and he learns more, and all of a sudden your game is turned upside down. Oh, oh good shot from Canelli. Caught him right on the chin. Chapman smiles. Oh! And he come back again. These two are putting on a show. Yeah, for sure. Oh, if he has a broken... No. No, his gum shield was loose. Oh! Oh, he's hit the body again. And he's got... Oh, he's hit him out the ring. You can't do that. Allison should have a word with Chapman. He hit him when he was outside the ring. Well, I am not... I am not one to to criticize the refs, but we can get the refs more involved in these moments. You cannot trust the fighter no. to do the right thing. You must stop him. Because they're caught up in the heat of the moment. Exactly. It is the ref's job. Absolutely. That was a wonderful fight. Great it, fight. It truly was. And Well, let's see what, uh, what happens there. Canelli came Canelli. with the right approach, but he slowed ever so slightly. Yes, that's... Yeah, that's exactly it. And, and to be fair to Chapman, he was alert and sharp throughout. And Chapman deciphered him, and then that took that slight advantage that Canelli was displaying in round one, and it took it away. Wonderful stuff. And, you know, we haven't seen a bad fight. 
whole night we've not seen one fight that leaves you wanting more. Now, I'm not sure how they are putting the winners together, but it looks to me that we would see Chapman and Tierney. If Chapman... Oh, it I'm not sure. Is it a draw? Do they make a draw? I don't know. I don't know if they have if they make a yeah. new draw or not. I haven't seen. Yeah. But that would be a cool fight. Wow. Oh. There we go. They're getting them together. So in you go. In you go. As uh, Robin goes into interview. Wow. James Canelli, Dan Chapman. Dan Chapman ended Ladies the fight and very, we very the strongly. Judges scorecards. We have a unanimous decision. Unanimous. Your winner. Done! Indian Spice Chapman! And a massive heart of James Canelli gets through the tangle. What a warrior. Please put your hands together and thank both of these two gentlemen. Thank you for that fight, gentlemen. Dan. Let Dan thank the corners. Dan, my friend. He's going to talk to Dan Chapman. Thank you. At the beginning, of that fight, he was deceptive and elusive. He was playing with duplicity, distracting. Once you, once you tracked him down with that big shot at the end of round two, you had his range and his timing. Yeah, I mean, I've had a massive shoulder injury up to the fight. I couldn't even use my job. And then all of a sudden, he caught me with a lovely job, cut my eye, I couldn't see nothing. Uh, all I want to say is I respect James, respect the BKB team, most of all, my team are there. They've been absolutely amazing, supporting me all through it. My sponsors, absolutely fantastic. Come on, Wills. Now, you told me you were not looking past this man, but you're not here to win one fight. You're here to win three fights and then fight Jimmy Sweeney for the world title. Yeah, definitely. And, and why? You said it's been a dream of yours to achieve a world championship. Yeah, I've come from a massive amateur background. I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm nowhere near the weight of these boys. I'm just using my knowledge, using my skills. Unfortunately, they got taken away in the first 30 seconds by James. Couldn't see. But full credit to James, full credit to my team. We dug in, we got the win. Let's, let's thank James Canale here as well. You guys, oh yeah, we lost, did we lose one in there? Love one. We, we lost a, a tooth in there. He tracked you down there and he was able to get to you. But you had a, a great opening round. You must have enjoyed this. Do you know what it was? I've got to go, Brian. No disrespect. I heard, I heard the ref say something. Next thing you know, bang, I'm on the floor. So very fast. Get in and out, man. I should have kept him on the jab more. But yeah, quality. Listen, it's a quality, it's quality man. Well, thank you both for a fantastic fight. And we look forward to seeing you fight at BKB 16. Thank you, Dan. Can't wait. Thank you, my fans. Awesome. Thank you all for buying tickets. Absolute pleasure to see you all here. Thank you. And can I say a big thank you to all the people that come and support me? Without you, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. The last thing, I'm not from Cumbrian, I'm from my stake. And a valley up in Blind Gwynvy. Well, cheers to Wales and cheers to you, Dan. Let's go back to the studio.